previously on the Downscaling Chronicles. The OSSC Pro is the reigning king of downscaling, ticking all the boxes to seamlessly downscale HD content to a CRT via RGB or component. With a slew of inputs, the ability to input common video resolutions, even 1080p, and have it output in 240p, 480i, stretched 4x3, or aspect preserving 16x9. It's just superb. Oh, and the picture quality is second to none. Back when I reviewed the OSSC Pro, the lag in scalar mode was inconsistent depending on the input to output combination, sometimes reaching over two frames. And the effectively zero lag line multiplier mode capped out at a 480p input. Last firmware 0.77 brought higher resolutions to line drop mode and Marcus has been hard at work to nail down the scalar mode lag even further in firmware 0.78. To update, download the latest version from the OSSC Pro GitHub repository, drop it to the root of a micro SD card and rename it OSSC underscore Pro. Then insert the card into the unit Go into the settings menu and update from there. If you're using the extra AV out add-on, then you'll need to reconfigure the output, which is easy enough to navigate through the unit's LCD display. And don't forget to resave your profile. Adaptive line multiplier mode can now line drop 720p to output 240p and 480i, and even 1080p can line drop to 240. Well, technically, it's two 16 active lines at 60 hertz in order to keep it 5x integer. So there's a touch of underscan, and then every fifth line is kept while skipping over the rest. As expected, these new line drop modes have essentially zero lag at under 3 milliseconds for 1080 to 240p, and even less for 720 to 240p and 480i. And scalar mode is now a consistent 20 or so milliseconds across all input to output combinations when downscaling to any of the 15 kilohertz resolutions. From 240p, 480i, 240p widescreen and 480i widescreen. So if you don't need a 480i output from a 1080p input or extraneous picture controls, then it's best to use adaptive line multiplier mode if you're downscaling. The OSSC Pro is an integral piece in my setup, where poor old Proe here gets all its holes filled. Sync combining my Sega Dreamcast, transcoding all my progressive scan component consoles, and acting as an HDMI digital to analog converter. If you have the legacy AV input add-on, firmware 0.78 activates the RF input so you can scale unmodified consoles like an Atari 2600 or a Sega Master System 2. Now you may be wondering, what's this orange growth on the side of my unit? It's not a tumor! That's a 3D printed shell for the extra AV outboard which you can download the STL files on the OSSC Pro GitHub and print them at home. The link to the top shell is actually a sim link that points to the legacy AV input add-on shell, as they use the same model for their top. If you have trouble downloading this from the extra AV out folder, you can find it in the legacy AV input path. Now, I did say that if Marcus could get the scalar lag under two frames, and add a 720p line drop mode that it would bump the OSSC Pro to an arbitrary 10 out of 10. Well done Marcus, you've earned it. I've been saying for some time that my next downscaling video will be on CRT Emmy Driver. And as promised, it's coming. Stay tuned. Thanks all for watching and happy gaming. <laughs>